That night, Paul had a vision. In his dream, he saw a man over in Macedonia, Greece, pleading with him, come over here and help us. Verse 10, well, that settled it. We would go to Macedonia, for we could only conclude that God was sending us to preach the good news there. Pangatlo, is unlock the common sense. You have to unlock the common sense. Sabi dito, come over. Come on means urging someone to do something. Kinakailangan ma-unlock mo yan, common sense na yan. Kasi itong common sense na ito, ito yung go signal, ito yung green light ni Lord. Sabi ni Lord, liga dito, go! Bilisan mo! Kailangan marunong kang mag-unlock nitong common sense ni Lord na ito. Itong, itong go signal ng Panginoon na ito. We see na si Paul at yung kanyang team nag-attempt siya sa iba't ibang mga city, sa iba't ibang mga, mga regions. But makikita natin na finorbid sila ng Holy Spirit, hindi sila pinapasok ng Panginoon. At basta sinabi doon, basta no. Basta si Lord nag-close ng door. However, as they continued to travel, they continued westward to Troas. While in Troas, Paul had a vision during the night of a man of Macedonia calling out to him, come over to Macedonia. Now the question is, who's this Macedonian man? Sabi ko, matatanungin pa natin, hindi nga pinangalanan ni Lord. Pagpapangalanan niya, pag importante yon, gusto ng Panginoon, di sasabihin niya yung pangalan. Pag hindi, basta man of Macedonia. Yun, eh, vision lang naman, panaginip yun. Pero ang sabi, nagsasabi, si, si Luke daw ito. Okay, sa mamaya, paliwanan ko po sa inyo. Pero marami nagsasabi na si Luke daw ito, pero malinaw dito, hindi binanggit ng Panginoon. So itong Macedonian ito was located in northern Greece. Sabi dito, come over to Macedonia. How to unlock the common sense? <laughs> Paano mo i-unlock itong common sense na ito? Number one, it is persuasive. In his dream, he saw a man over in Macedonia, Greece, pleading with him. Yung Greek word nito, persuasive. Okay, pleading with him. Madali. Sabi nga nun, ito yung Greek niya, madali nyo. Come over here and help us. So pag persuasive, malalaman natin na may go signal ang Panginoon, it is convincing and hard to resist. Kaya nga may tinatawag na irresistible grace. It is convincing. Alam mo, may ganun. Ang hirap i-resist na kahit na anong wisdom ang ginamit ko. Pwede talaga eh. Kailangan ko talaga si Lord eh. Kahit na sino mga hindi naniniwala kay Lord eh, kailangan ko talaga siya. Ang hirap i-resist yung katotohanan na yun. At malalaman mo may panawagan ng Panginoon. Pag ito ay mahirap i-resist. Para po nung magpapastor ako, kung ano-anong pagtatago ang ginawa ko, kung ano-anong mga dahilan ng mga pinaggagawa ko, dahil baka ganito mangyari sa buhay ko, baka walang mangyari sa buhay ko, mamatulad lang ako sa iba, pero sa dulong-dulo, eh, no, no, nonsense eh. Yung nangyari, wala nangyayari. Mamaya dyan, may calling na ang Panginoon. It's, just, it's really hard to resist. Kaya when reason ends, faith begins. Hindi mo na maisip, paano to? Ay, alam ni Lord. God can explain. <laughs> alam ni Lord ang gagawin niya rin. Alam ng Panginoon. Pag persuasive siya. Pleading with Him. Come over here and help us. Pangalawa, malalaman mo yung common sense na yan. Ma-unlock mo yan. If it is persuasive, it is persuasive. Pangalawa, Second, it is conclusive. Verse 10. Well, that settled it. We would go to Macedonia for we could only conclude God was setting us. Conclusive siya. It means putting an end to debate or question. Ibig sabihin, may napagkasundoan na. Siyempre, yung team na yon. ano ba na panaginipan mo? Ano ba yung vision na nakita mo? Ay, wala yan. Di ba? Pwedeng ganun eh. Nag-usap, pero si kanila. Ang bihira. For we could only conclude that God, we, by the way, importante yun. Amaya, babanggitin ko yung we na yan. Una, day. Pangalawa, may dito na. Pagdating ng verse na ito, 10, we na. For we could only conclude that God was sending, may as pa, us. Wala nang question ngayon. Napagkasundoan na nila. May conclusion na yung grupo. May, may kapayapaan na sila. So malalaman mo na yung, yung common sense na yan, Persuasive, pangalawa, conclusive, pambihira. Settled na yon. Pangatlo, 
Ito, importante. It is transformative. Sabi dito, Well, that settled it. We would go to Macedonia for we could only conclude that God was sending us. Ito na. God was sending us to preach the good news there. It is transformative. Alam niyo po, mga kapatid, I want you to listen to this carefully. Sabi ko, anong, anong meron dito sa Macedonyang ito? Transformative siya, na kailangan mag-preach sila ng good news doon. Anong meron sa Macedonia? The, sabi po ng mga experts that the Macedonian call resulted in Paul and his companions sailing from Troas to Neapolis. Stopping from the right on the island of Samothrace. From Neapolis, they continued on to the Roman colony of Philippi. The leading city, ito na, yung Philippi na ito, the leading city of that district of Macedonia. Pagpunta nila dun sa Macedonia, ano nangyari? And this is still known, yung pinuntahan nila yon, as the gateway to Europe. Ito yung pinakamagandang way para makonquer mo yung Europe. Up to that point in history, the gospel had been limited to Asia. And many historians credit Paul's heading to the Macedonian call with the spread of Christianity into Europe and Western world. Buti na lang. May nakadiscern nung kamon sense na yon. Yung Macedonian call na yon. And much happened in Macedonia. Dito nangyari yung Lydia's conversion. Ibig sabihin, yung supporter, kasi nila itong si Lydia eh. Dito na convert yung Lydia na yun. Matinding supporter nila yan. Pagdating sa gawain, even the deliverance of fortune-telling slave girl, dito rin nangyari. Paul and Silas imprisonment in Philippi. nag si Lord. Doon, the conversion of the jailer and household. And Paul's preaching in Athens. Yung sikat sa, na sikat na yun, na preaching niya sa Athens. And some of the highlights of the second missionary journey, dito rin nangyari. Paul planted several churches in Macedonian cities. Local bodies of believers were established in Philippi, tatlong, baga, tatlong lugar, Philippi, Thessalonica, and Corinth. And these churches were important in the growth of the early church and enjoyed a long-term relationship with the apostles. In fact, five of the New Testament epistles were written to these three churches, Philippi, Thessalonica, and Corinth. So lima na libro na New Testament na isulat. Buti na lang! <laughs> Buti na lang. So the history of the church and of the world forever changed because of the God-given dream known as the Macedonian call. Buti na lang na discern ito, na unlock ito ni Apostle Paul. Transformative eh. Babago pala eh. Go mo yan, babaguhin pala ang buhay mo eh. Bakit hindi ako magbabago? Eh, sira nga yung buhay ko. Yung iba pa, naninindigan pa rin yung kasiraan. Pag makakabago ng buhay mo yan, ng pamilya mo, kapatid ng pagkatao mo, pambihira, direksyon na ni Lord. Will na. Ng Panginoon. Kaya lang mga kapatid, I want you to know that be, you must be open to a new direction. Just be open to a new direction. Yes, we must accept that God closes doors. But be open also to a new direction. Maging open tayo sa direksyon ng ating Panginoon.